What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to jump into Photoshop and I'm going to show you how I edited this. But before we get into that, if this is your first time checking out the channel, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell, and be notified when any new content comes out. So without any further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you step by step how I got this. Alright guys, so once you have your photo opened up in Photoshop, the first thing that you're going to want to do is make two duplicate layers of your background. One way of doing that, you can just select your background layer, drag it down here to the plus sign. Or another way is you can use the keyboard shortcuts, which is Control J on a PC or Command J on a Mac. Next, you're going to want to deselect your bottom two layers and make sure that your top layer here is selected and then we want to desaturate this top layer. So again, one way that we can do that is using the keyboard shortcuts and that's Control shift u or you can also come up here just to Image, Adjustments and scroll down here to Desaturate. Once we have the background layer or this top layer desaturated we're going to want to put a curves layer on top of that. And we will just select here in the middle of the curve and just pull this down until we get that nice, rich, deep black color. Now we're going to open up a levels. And same thing, we're just going to push these blacks just a little bit more and bring up our whites and our highlights just a little bit. There we go. All right, and once you're happy with that, just go ahead and merge all those layers together. Now we're gonna open back up our middle layer, come up here to adjustments, click on the little camera here, which is a photo filter. Or you can also come down here and go up to Photo Filter. And from here, I take my Photo Filter copy, I put it on top of my original layer and turn up the density to 100%. This is gonna let us go ahead and kind of see that gold accent color uh, that we're gonna put in. And you can go ahead and change it really to whatever color you would like uh, just by clicking on this. And then you can just play around with the different shades. I'm going to keep it on gold, but you could select honestly any color uh, from this color table and use that as you like. All right. And once you have that, the next thing you're going to want to do just go ahead and invert this layer. So you want to turn this to a black mask. And the one way of doing that, go ahead and click on your white mask and hit Control I to invert. And what that does is it just gives us a pure black mask. And now we can paint white where we want that gold effect. So we're just going to go over here to our paintbrush. I like a nice soft brush, so I keep my hardness at zero. We're just gonna come in and just start painting where we want that gold effect. And it's just real important here just to make sure you just keep resizing your brush to what you want. And I also like to kind of drop the opacity for some things just to give a little bit of a fall off on the color. And the nice thing is when you work with masks like this, if you end up making a mistake, like say if you went into the eye, all you have to do, come down here, 
click on these two little arrows, which will switch it to black, or you can also just hit X on the keyboard, which will switch in between, get a black brush, and you just paint where you made the mistake at, and it'll go ahead and remove any mistakes that you have made. So just go around here and I will go ahead and I'll speed up this part of the video as we're just painting. And again, all we're doing right now, we're just highlighting the areas that we want the gold at. Now one thing that I like to do is I like to also just add in a couple of accents around. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint her necklace, different parts of it gold, paint her bracelet down here gold. I just think that kind of helps tie in the whole effect when you can look for just little accents that just bring the whole picture together. All right, and now the next thing that you can do, if you think that the color is just a little bit too much, you can come in here, just drop the opacity down. I like it right about there. And another thing too, if you wanna bring back just a little bit of that color to the skin in the overall picture, you can go to your um, black and white layer and you can drop that opacity down just a little as well. I personally like it on this picture. I like it, you know, just at 100%, but it really depends. Sometimes it depends on the skin tone that you're working with, uh, might give an added touch to the picture. And guys, that's it. It's as simple as that. Just really four quick easy steps and you can take a picture from something that's already beautiful just to a piece of art so i hope that you liked it if you learned something go ahead hit that like button leave a comment down below let me know of other videos that you would like to see until next time guys